Jonathan Jones, CBS Sports, alongside a man who knows how to spell his first name, Jonathan Gannon, head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. And JG, first of all, we're catching you guys on a very, I don't know if it's a difficult stretch, but it's a long stretch of practice, right? Six straight days. Somebody's going to hear six straight days of practice. They're going to say, holy cow, does the CBA even allow that? But take me through your method here on gearing up here at the start of training camp. Yeah, so when we looked at training camp, we knew we had this much time to get the team ready, and that's what I'm worried about. It's like make sure we're healthy, evaluate our players, and develop our players. And how preseason one and two and what we're doing preseason three kind of all fit you know, with certain days falling on certain days, we decided this was the best way. So we're not going fast every day, but we're going fast a lot. And um, I think the players have done a good job of understanding uh, what we're trying to get done each day, even when we have some different tempos and uh, improving their game. So I'm, I'm excited about it. Knowing that, we told our guys it's going to be a mental and a physical stretch this week. You know, it's, we're going to stretch you out a little bit and they're with it. Knowing that a lot of head coaching jobs don't become open because things were successful the previous year or years, what have you and your staff with Monty, the GM, tried to implement differently with these Cardinals? Yeah, I think just when we got here, it's like, hey, if we, if we say we want to win, we have to do these things. This has to be part of our process on a daily basis. We don't want to be results driven. We want to be process driven. So it's like, hey, like these are the things that can help us win games as a team and individually. And these are the things, this is what's expected and this is how we're going to operate. And not to say that we're going to, you know, we're going to make a couple mistakes here and there, myself, the coaches, the players. But as long as we learn from that, we're getting better a little bit each day, we should be okay. So I think just really setting the, the standards and the expectations and then, you know, following through with, hey, this is how we're going to play football here. This is what's expected. And uh, the players have done a great job of responding to that. Yeah, tell me a little bit more about that, maybe even some specifics. A word I've heard a lot around here is structure. Um, what is some of that structure you all are instituting here early? Yeah, someone asked me the other day, like, hey, I heard you got a lot of rules. I actually don't have, like, I have one rule. You know what I mean? And it's, it's the team and then you. And everything else falls into that. So if, you, you know, you're going about your day and you say, JG, like, am I good with this? And I say, well, hey, like, are you putting yourself in front of the team or is that action the team ahead of you? And um, it kind of everything you see kind of fits into that. But um, I would say that just I think on a daily basis, so I call it standard operating procedures. Like this is how we have to operate our behavior um, to give ourselves a chance to win on Sunday. You know, and if we don't do those things, we won't have a chance to win on Sunday. So I think they value that. And they've, like I said, they've done a good job with it, JJ. You, uh, coming from the defensive side and your background, this was a defense last year that was bottom five and third down in red zone in a number of major categories. What's going to be uh, the marks of success for this defense and the milestones that they have to hit to improve? Yeah, I think, you know, we have to do our part um, on all three phases, not just the defense, to win games. You know, that's what I was always concerned. Each phase, you got to do what you need to get done that week. Um, to give yourself, to give your team a chance to win, how you fit into that. So I think really right now what we're honestly working on is the finer details of the scheme, the technique, the fundamentals, the understanding of what we're trying to get done. And um, they've been doing a good job with that. You know, we got a couple couple new guys in, a couple vets, a couple young guys. It's a good mix of guys. The energy's good. The effort's good. Um, can be better, as always. But uh, I like where they're at right now as we sit here today, August 2nd. You guys had 36 sacks last season. You lost about half of that sack production with Watt retiring, Zach Allen leaving in free agency. How do you look to replace that with this group? Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to, you know, affecting the quarterback is a big part of playing good, playing well on defense. So um, we're going to have to win one-on-ones. We're going to have to generate certain things. You know, we're going to have to cover well on the back end. It's not just the front guys or who's rushing the quarterback. Rushing coverage, cover and rush fit together. So I think all 11 go into, you know, that type of production of affecting the quarterback. So I like where we're at right now. We've definitely got a long way to go with it. Jonathan, I've tried to set or at least break the record of the longest you've been interviewed since becoming the Cardinals head coach without being asked about Kyler Murray. I don't know if I reached that new record or not, but we're now getting to the Kyler Murray portion yeah. of, uh, of this interview. K-1. K-1. Yeah. What, uh, just describe your relationship with him, where he's at in his recovery, uh, and what he's been like to work with so yeah, far. Yeah, I mean, just the, the relationship that I have with him, you know, obviously being a defensive guy, 
um, started from a place of curiosity. Hey, you know, how to, you know, talking about how teams defend them and what I was trying to do, things like that. Getting to know them as a person, what makes them tick. Um, you know, you try to unpack some logic of since he's been in the NFL, you know, he's had really good years and, hey, how'd you play this game? Not so great. Why? You know, things like that. But, you know, I know this. He's a fierce competitor and is a really, really, really good teammate. And that's what I'm looking for out of that position. And he's done everything that we've asked of him um, to make sure that his strengths stay his strengths and up his game where he really said, hey, I need to improve this part of my game. And he's doing a really good job with that. So obviously he's not out here with us. Um, but he's working hard. He's, I, I use the phrase, he's chomping at the bit a little bit. He wants to play football, be out there with his teammates, which is awesome, what's expected. And uh, when he's ready to play mentally and physically, we'll put him out there. Uh, last question for you. How are you going to determine success this upcoming season? I think a lot of folks aren't expecting a great deal in terms of wins from this team, but uh, whether it's wins and losses, how are you going to define success for yeah, these Cardinals? I think really it starts today is did we get a little bit better today? And, you know, and again, that goes back to process driven, not results driven. And as long as we go through the year and we're getting better, um, you know, that we should give ourselves a chance to win games. But I know this group's a prideful group and they want to win. And I think they're committed to that. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's going to be fun to go out and have the chance to compete to win games. So uh, looking forward to today first. But I know, you know, down the road we'll be looking forward, revved up to go uh, when it's come Sunday, when it counts. There it is. J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N. Jonathan Gannon, thanks <laughs> so much. Thanks, Jonathan.